showing you this, if I go to Junctions, Delete Junction, I can click anywhere in the vicinity of the junction. There's my first example. I'm going to say, no, I don't want to delete it. Pressing spacebar on my keyboard, I can click at another spot. So numerous places, and it picks up the junction very easily in 8.4. This time, I'm going to go and delete the junction. Let's redesign it. Going back to junctions, add junction, specify the intersecting road and the main road. This looks the same, but if I go and select the left curve option, you will see two new features. The first one, the text style has been updated, which makes it more visible. And then you'll see a preview of what your bow mouth design looks like. If I do go and change, for instance, my center radius, look what happens to the text as well as the bow mouth preview. They dynamically update. If I go back to my radius and select another cell, it then again goes and updates. If I go and select the curve option, you can see the display is being removed. And that is because I've, I've got information that is outstanding. Putting in radius and offset values. Straight away, you can see the result. And this prevents you from having to go through this process, click on OK, only to find that the result is not quite what you've expected. Taking it a step further, applying a taper option. Again, you can see how the diagram has been updated. If I turn off the taper, if I turn off the curve, and then change in my radius once again. You can go and put in divider island information and specify which settings to use. If you want detailed junction design information, please look out for our junction design and verification webinar found on our YouTube channel. Selecting the right curve information, you also have the option to pick up the design elements from CAD. Looking at the divider island, if I go and change this option to extract from CAD entities, select the polyline, and when I do this, the preview then is switched off. Click on the island, and now specifying my bow mouth CAD option. If I haven't turned on the CAD layer yet, I can go to my layer display settings, switch on which layer I'd like to use, and then indicate it. And once I'm done, I can go and right click and extract string. Looking at the preview, my left curve, right curve, I'm happy with that. And Civil Designer would go through the design process. Remember, you have the option of editing your junctions, as well as looking at the bow mouth editor if you want to view your bow mouth in a long sectional format.